by making sure that we have the right supplies. We have paper towels, and we have soap, and we have the water. We're going to first start out by turning on our water, getting it to a not too hot, not too cold range, right in the middle, medium temperature. Then we're going to go ahead and get some soap. We'd like to dispense one teaspoon or five milliliters of soap, and then add water to each hand. And then as you're rubbing your palms together and your fingers together, the circular motion, you want to do this for 30 seconds. Create a nice lather. As you're doing this, you're also going to be making sure that you wash and rinse your knuckle, or wash and cover your knuckles with soap. And get all the little cracks and crevices. We're going to each also do each finger individually. Bacteria likes to hide in different little cracks and crevices on our hands, and it's important to get down deep and get all the germs we can. Also, the top, tops of our hands. Next, we want to make sure that we get in deep on our knuckles or in our fingernails. And by doing this, we kind of pick underneath each of our fingernails and make sure that we are getting all of the little cracks and crevices we can find. Just making sure you leave no stone or not to turn with your hand washing. And next, you want to make sure that you keep the lather up and rinse or go all the way up to one inch above the wrist or whatever one inch above a contaminated area would be. Doing that now, you're going to rinse off the soap with the water. Next, you want to next you want to rip off the paper towel and dry off your fingers, and then get one more paper towel and off and trash this paper towel. And with the second paper towel, you can just dry your hands. Thank you. This last towel I'm going to use is uncontaminated. I'm going to go ahead and turn off our water with that and trash this one as well. And that takes care of our hand washing video for today. Hi, my name is John. I'm a beer nurse today. Uh, can I have your first and last name and your date of birth, please? Lindsay Carruthers, January 1st, 1990. Lindsay Carruthers, January 1st, 1990. Lindsay, what brings you in today? Just here for a physical. For your physical? Okay, great. Lindsay, I'm going to go ahead and get your vital signs today, and that'll take about 10 minutes. Do you have 10 minutes to give? Spare? Okay, wonderful. And uh, so first, I'm going to start off, or Lindsay, have you eaten or drank anything in the last 30 minutes? No? Okay. Well, first, I'll start off by getting your her temperature today, and I'm going to do that with this temperature gauge. I will take it out of the container it comes in, and mark it down with an alcohol pad. I'll be wiping it down with an alcohol pad before and after use. I'm going to go ahead and place this underneath your tongue. We're going to hold it there until you hear it. And a healthy temperature for a, a grown adult would be uh, 96.8 to 99.5 degrees Celsius, or degrees Fahrenheit. Our pulse is at 96.7, so it's still within the healthy range. That's great. Next, I'm going to clean it off with the second alcohol pad. Her temperature is at 96.7 degrees. Next, I'm going to go ahead and check your uh, pulse sites. I'm going to check your temporal pulse sites first with each hand. And I'm not going to use my thumbs. Next, I'm going to check your carotid pulse site on your neck here. We're going to do this one at a time so that we don't make the patient pass out.
Next, we're going to check your frequencies. Now I'm going to go ahead and check your radio pulse. And for this, I'm going to go ahead and check it for 30 seconds. And if there's any type of um, any, irregular, in, any irregularities, I'm going to go ahead and go for a pulse 60 seconds. After 30 seconds, her pulse was at a 42. So if you double that up to 60 seconds, it would be at 82. A healthy range is 70 to, uh, is 70 to 100 uh, for pulse. Next, we're going to check her other radio pulse. And also with this one, I'm going to be checking her respirations per minute as well, because we don't want to let our patient know that we're checking for that, because we don't want them to change their breathing or breathe too shallow, breathe too deep, and change what they normally would breathe like. And a, a normal breath per minute for an adult would be 12 to 20 breaths per minute. Lindsay was at eight breaths per minute, so if you would go ahead and double that up to 60 seconds, she'd be sitting 16 breaths per minute, and a healthy range is 12 to 20, so 16, she's in a good range. The next, next step, Lindsay, I'm gonna go ahead and check your uh, femoral pulse, and so I'm gonna have you stand up for me. Very good, thank you. I'm gonna have you go sit down, sit back down. Next, I'm going to have you slide a little bit forward, and I'm going to check your proper teal pulse. Again, I'm checking with just my fingers and not my thumbs. Next, I'm going to check your posterior tibial pulse. This is right behind me. The last pulse I'm going to go ahead and check is going to be her dorsalis pedicytes on the top of her foot. So I'm going to have her go ahead and I'll slide off her shoe for her. I'm going to go ahead and check your blood pressure. Also, be using the bell side of my stethoscope to listen to her, or to listen to her blood pressure. And I also will be pumping up the blood pressure to over 130 to get her preliminary systolic blood pressure.
whose blood pressure reading was uh, 117 over 78. So she's still in that 120 to 80 healthy range. Lindsay, that is it on my end for right now. Is there anything else I can go ahead and relay back to the doctor for you? Any concerns you may have? That's it. That's Thank it. You. Okay, thank you. Hope you have a great day. Nice to meet you. Thanks, you too.